and Zeke, it is your turn to act. I am going to dash to the fire and pull a flaming stick that is somewhat out of the fire, not all on fire, from the side of the fire, and use it as another missile. <laughs> a makeshift projectile will make it much more difficult to attack with something that it would be weighted and balanced and something you have practiced throwing repeatedly. Correct. I agree. <clears throat> oh, fuck. Jeez. You throw the makeshift torch at the beast. It falls off to the side. At least signaling to the drow where the enemy is. You throw it over against this rock. As it strikes this rock... You notice, back up in my face. you notice some of the rocks shift on the wall. Ruh -ruh. Settling. This guy is unconscious, but not dead. Merrick, mm -hmm. you just shot the goblin bully, and he ran behind the uh, viewable area for you. Right. I draw my uh, um, dagger from my belt, turning towards these, the goblin still laying before me. And I attempt to stab him. All right. Just so we're clear, he is unconscious. He is at your mercy, as it were, slumping on the ground. You would not attempt to. You would simply do so All right, if that's stabbing. what you'd like to do. I'm stabbing the fuck out of him. Very well. You stab, stab him. Stab, stab, stab. Stab, stab, stab. <laughs> stab, stab, stab. All right. You shiv him relentlessly and, unmerciless and unmercifully until he is most assuredly... D E D. Dead. Dead. D E D. That's right. And don't forget. Wah, wah, wah. Mud spelled backwards. All right. Our bully is hiding behind this rock still as best he can. Sieg. There is but two logs still aflame within the fireplace and one log sitting on the ground aflame. I think I can reach him. And there's an arrow over here, Mansa. And a couple arrows in here. Mm -hmm. In the shit monster. Well, one is in there and <laughs> one's in one of the dead goblins. Uh, where exactly is my dagger sitting? In this square? Yep. <laughs> it's funny watching you guys plan your next move. <laughs> <laughs> I will grab the dagger. And toss my dagger at the goblin again. Are you going to Dumb attempt bullet. to use any of your special abilities? One springs to mind specifically. I will use enraged offense. Very well. Getting sick of this guy staying alive for so long. You need to roll a d20. I happen to know what you need to hit. And unfortunately, it whizzes right past him. He's hunkered down behind this rock as best he can, but he's just not going down. That's where your dagger fell. Sorry, it took me a minute. Merrick? All right, I rush towards uh, where Zeke seems to be having some difficulty and nearly slipping on the shit pile. But at the same time, snatching my arrow that I noticed that was sticking out of it. And I paused, looking around, uh, making sure that everything was okay before proceeding. Everything appears okay. You successfully grab your arrows as you're running by. All right. Zeke, having thrown your dagger at the goblin beast, now is the time he decides to make his move. He runs out. Sorry, he runs out and swings his six-foot club at you. <laughs> Get him! <laughs> and as you duck beneath it, he slams it into the side of the rocks next to you. Hold on a second. Here's some effect. Swing! His back's not to you. That's the stick hitting the wall. But when he does that, 
The rocks shift some more. Several of them are tumbling to the ground now. Oh god, rock dodge, rock dodge! And it's your turn to act, Sieg. Are these rocks falling on me? They are not. They are about the size... Uh, they're, they're decorative uh, rock sizes, okay? Like brick wall, like <laughs> rock wall size. I'm trying to convey the size and I'm running out of descriptors. <laughs> Can you hide your rockies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Dash at this guy. Uh -oh. I think I'm gonna use two-handed bastard sword. Raged offense. Yeah, roll two. Oh, make this count. Oh, oh. Yeah, he made it oh, count. Good. Yeah, you strike him good. Would you I care to describe how you do this? Let's go ahead and roll damage, and then based on the damage, you can describe how it goes down. But uh, two-handed, 1d10, it's crit, so 1d10 times two. Two plus your strength bonus, if I'm not mistaken. So... Oh, I'm sorry, I did the math wrong. Two multiplied times your crit multiplier. Right, and the crit multiplier is two unless you have a special ability that says otherwise. I'm pretty sure yours is just an increased range. Yeah. So two Second times two four. is four, plus your strength modifier. Bonus three. So that did seven points of damage. Taking it right to the skull. Scalped him. Scalped him. <laughs> Very well. You swing the sword down upon him and slice across his forehead. He's temporarily <laughs> temporarily taken aback as the top of his head begins to slide off. And as you do so, the blood begins purting, ichor and ooze and goo falling from his medulla oblongata <laughs> until he falls unconscious at your feet, bleeding profusely. And the cave grows silent from orc sounds. <laughs> now you're simply standing in a cave. You can hear no more orcs growling. You hear nothing else but your heartbeat. Having successfully completed the task of vanquishing these goblins once and for all. Breathing heavily to regain your composure, the two of you regroup and debrief. Sit down and enjoy this goblin fire. Yeah, I rush over to uh, Zig. And seeming excited and both happy about the turn of events, I reach out to give him a hug as I'm also patting him down and seeing if he's had any hidden coins on his person. <laughs> do I do a, uh, a thief check? <laughs> All right. So, uh, Zeke, the elf comes over to you and uh, I presumably says something along the lines of, Well fought, companion. That was a close one indeed. Ah, bring it in for a hug, Man buddy. Hug. Man hug. Man hug. Man hug. <laughs> Man hug. Man hug. Uh, that's a little too close. <laughs> and as uh, Zeke, you're going, yeah, yeah, we did it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Merrick is rolling a d20 with his thief abilities. No modifiers for pickpockets. What did you roll? A 14. No kidding. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, Merrick, you find nothing of interest. No coinage. <laughs> Broke bad stuff. He must have hidden the two coppers he got last night in his boots. Because you can't seem to find him during this brief interlude. A.K.A. the man hug. <laughs> yeah, the fake smile leaves my face. I turn and head back to the tavern for my reward. Wait, 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 wait. Do you hear that? Before you can, can, can turn again. <laughs> Eric is out of sight. Ciao. What? You're all business, huh, Eric? Uh, hey, I gotta get peace. 
<laughs> I do hear footsteps. What's going on? Joe! I'd like to take a moment to find out your name. Uh, I say something in Drowish that you can barely understand. It sounds like I'm saying Mayrik. Mayrik. Merrick. I, I understand a little bit of the Drow language. In my clan, we've learned about all of the fighters in the world a little bit. That's why I knew that you were no simple elf. Ah, I smile and nod. Vindui. Did you say Andui? Vindui. Vindui. And you respond knowing the Pretty. language. <laughs> Pretty sure that's not a nice thing. No, it is actually. It just means hello or welcome or something like that. Oh, okay. I used to know a lot of the language. Like, I can't remember that shit. I will look up the. They, there's a translator for that shit too online. Translates English in the draw. I nod and I extend my hand for a handshake. In a oddly foreign, but still understandable nature. I reluctantly hold my hand out and take yours and give you a brief shake. Joe, we should rest a moment. We're nearly on the hour mark to regain some of our energies. <laughs> I turn and start heading back towards the tavern. <clears throat> Very well. I'm not going to be stuck out here at night with with other creatures and goblins. Well, let's. There could be more. Let's recap. You woke up early in the morning and had breakfast and agreed to come out here. It was 45 minutes away. So unless the uh, roughly, combat you just yeah, unless that combat you just went through took about 12 hours, I think it's all right. <laughs> Oh, that was a pretty long battle, man. Next, I'm going <laughs> to shoot an arrow. <laughs> yeah, it was all like Matrix shit. That's right, the whole it thing. Was it was bro, Matrix bro, the whole bro, time. Bro, 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 yeah, bro, bro, the whole time. Yeah, <laughs> Three hours later, it's still early afternoon. All right, Three well, hours of combat. Since you both oh. are apparently tabletop noobs... <laughs> <laughs> I will not give you any additional roleplay experience for taking this opportunity to investigate the dead bodies or rummage I'm through the so shit pile. Ready, but that's what I want to do. I wanted to rest and investigate the bodies and then move into the cave. You want to move? You want to move into the cave? You want what? Are you gonna become a hermit? Nah, no, no, no. You have to, in, like, I went to all this cave. trouble of making your fighter character <laughs> sheet, and now you just want to be a hermit? No, no. no. No, I want to investigate the noise that I hear behind the uh, rocks that tumble down after checking out the goblins. I kind of figured the drow already took on, like, checked out the bodies outside the cave, so I was going to check the goblin bully. What are you doing, man? I'm standing on top of the rocks. <laughs> I I'm going goblins. to investigate goblin bully body. Goblins and uh, other green greenies don't tend to carry much loot on them, so they usually use very crude weapons, so they're not worth um, even investigating them for gold or anything. I'm poor, newly starting out, I'm looking for everything. Yeah, but these things don't carry any, anything of uh, value. Hmm. I don't know, this guy's a leader. Alright, give me a d20 first search check. Come on, crit roll, crit roll! Five, shit. Rummaging around the dead body, you realize that the goblin is really only wearing a loincloth himself. And that ain't that no big? coin purse. <laughs> you can have that. You can have that. I'm not even gonna argue with you over it. Yeah, put a put a leather strap around and wear it around your neck as a reward. Oh my gosh, that wasn't no six foot stick he was hitting us with. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> <laughs> happy to see Dave again. Look at well, if you're not gonna check the other goblin bodies, I will. Right, you go for it. You gonna hang out there next to the fire, Merrick? Yes, it's uh, it's just. It's Fool wants to hang around. I'm just gonna keep an eye on this cave and make sure there's no further goblins coming coming out. Hey, are we gonna call this break time? The wife and I wanted to play some games. I bet you did. Yeah, this, sure. Why not? This could be a good break time. You want to pick up here at this site when we come back? 
Yeah, we could do that. Roughly one o'clock in the afternoon. Yep. Uh, I was yeah, I was gonna say it's closer to ten or eleven, but okay, one o'clock in the afternoon works too. It was a late well, brunch. I'm it wasn't breakfast at the Mountainside Inn. It was a late brunch. Yeah, we were all really yeah, tired. Yeah, I haven't quite eaten anything yet either, so. Whoops. All right. So we'll take a break here and we'll recap when we come back the next time. Okie doke. That work for you, you guys? Get away, shit, get away from the shit pile. All right, I'm good. All right, gentlemen. Thanks for joining me. Uh, thanks for joining me. Not a problem. We'll pick Appreciate it up next it. time. Yeah, this, is, this is fun.